President, please be seated. The court is now back in session, and the chamber gives the floor back to the deputy co-prosecutor to resume the presentation of key documents. You may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, when we broke, um, I was talking about presenting documents related specifically to um, events in 1977 and mid-1977, uh, in which um, there were um, DK incursions into Vietnam. And I wanted to read um, from a 15 June 1977 telegram um, that came from the DK ambassador to Vietnam, Vietnam Mrs. E3878. This telegram was distributed to Pol Pot, Nguyen Chea, Sen, 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 of 15 June, Sun summoned me yet again and said on 14 June 1977, starting at 8 p.m., a company of our forces committed to committed aggression across their border over a length of 40 kilometers in Hatien. He said our forces, with 105s hauled in as auxiliary support, carried out a coordinated storming attack against their security posts, slaughtering and torturing, torturing residents, residences, bringing about enormous casualties. And then the telegram continues. The fact that the Campuchian army committed such transgressions, slaughtering, burning, and smashing, is not something they are raising according to reports, but something for which there can be clear and irrefutable evidence. If I wanted to look at the photographs, he could make them available for me to view. And quote. Il pourrait me les mettre à disposition. Um, we've uh, presented or read, used some documents already in these proceedings relating to a attack that took place uh, on the 24th of September, 1977. Um, we've used uh, Nayan Chanda's discussion Nous of that and Stephen Morris. Let me just read to you Stephen from Maurice. Ben Kiernan on the same subject. E3 1593, Khmer 00637924925, French 00639153. English 0115-0193, it is page 373 of Kiernan's book, quote, on the, on the night of 24 September 1977, elements of the reconstituted 3rd East Zone Division under the general command of San Sen crossed into Tainan province and massacred nearly 300 civilians in five villages of Tin Dien and Ben Khao districts. Several days after the 24 September attack, a Democratic Kampuchea Central Zone Company commander returned from the scene of the massacre. He remarked with sadness, a witness related, that he had never expected the revolution to come to what he had just seen and done. After composing a brief suicide note, he shot himself. Kiernan, Your Honours, Kiernan's uh, sources for this 
les sources de Kiernan um, pour affirmer ceci sont les uh, of interviews des années 1980 lorsqu'il a aussi une interview conducted by Steve Hedder in 1980 of a, a surviving a member of the camp on some party committee, a chap Lon. Avec le membre Chap Long du comité du parti des Kampongsom qui a survécu. And I won't repeat Nyan Chanda's evidence on this. I will simply note, though, again, that uh, in the pages that we've cited before, Nyan Chanda not only had reports at the time from uh, Vietnamese source, a the source who had taken a Hungar Vietnamian. Hungarian journalist to the site of these September. 24, 1977 attacks. Um, Nayan Chanda went out there himself a few months later. And uh, at the uh, end of his discussion of all this in Brother Enemy E3, 2376, uh, you'll find this at Khmer 00191555 through 5 six French zero zero two three seven zero eight three English zero zero one nine two four zero five through zero six after describing the horrific sites après avoir décrit from survivors, we heard unprompted stories of medieval atrocities. There was no longer any doubt in my mind about the reality of this bitter conflict that the Vietnamese had kept out of public view for so long, even given Hanoi's oft-proven ability to manipulate the press, Même the evidence I had seen was too overwhelming. Your Honours, I'll briefly refer you as well uh, to a contemporaneous document uh, This appears to be one of the uh, telegrams that came from the ambassadors. Um, this is document E3981, E3981, and the first paragraph of this telegram describes delivering a, a letter. Um, uh, to the embassy in Phnom Penh Un événement and states, une lettre quote, à l'ambassade à Phnom Penh et dit, they reiterated that our troops had invaded into Thai Ninh during September 1977, en massacring and killing more than 1,000 people. Currently, troops are deployed five to six kilometers deep inside the Vietnamese soil in Ben Ho, Cap Thum, Ben Bien districts. Um, another document from this same time period is a 26 October 1977 telegram, Your Honours, document E3-869, E3-869. Uh, this is a, a 26 October 1977 telegram from uh, Sao Pim using the alias Chon to Office 870. And in Section 1, um, report on a 25 October 1977 attack uh, on the enemy's headquarters en octobre 1977. Uh, and states as Quote, at the first important prong, we designated a special squad to attack inside the enemy's intestines headquarters and another position in Trung. At the first prong, our special troops completely destroyed the enemy's headquarters. The contemptible commander and his bodyguards were all killed. The commanders, buildings, and all les houses were totally burned down. Trophies were not collected on time les as we carried out a quick strike. À temps parce que nous avons and at the very end of his telegram, Sao Pim reports, quote, 
Before au our début attack, de ce télégramme, à Sao Pim, notre attaque, nous avons mm, uh, lancé des tirs de 105 mm market, une centaine de fois sur le marché burned. de Trung, When the night came, we started Lorsque la nuit est venue, nous avons démarré l'incendie. I've read to you the quote from Nine Chanda, in which he says the evidence of this is overwhelming. La citation de Nayan Chanda. Um, Il dit we que read les part of this quote écrasantes. before, but I wanted to read the complete quote Je because one of the accused, Kusum Pan, uh, has Sampan also acknowledged that the evidence of this is, in his words, irrefutable. Que les uh, this is in his book, Cambodia's Recent History, E3 slash 18, E3 slash 18, E3 slash 8, 8, States that he became aware of Ici, il dit très clairement qu'il il a appris au sujet Tien Bin, des attaques uh, contre Tien Bin après uh, 1979 and, and et il écrit à ce propos la chose suivante. The Vietnamese responded to these Les Vietnamiens ont réagi using à ces attaques en strike aircraft left by the Americans after the war. Avec des A These counterattacks were followed guerre. by even bloodier Cambodian incursions plus at the end plus of September. Encore à la fin du mois de September. And for this reference, he Pour cites Nayan Chanda regarding the, uh, the counterattacks. He then continues, though, to say the following. Loin, his personal words. The events recounted are irrefutable. There is no doubt that the Khmer Rouge made forays into Vietnam villages along the border, committing appalling crimes against Vietnamese civilians. When I learned of these medieval-type cruelties, I became quite despondent, and it took me several weeks to recover. J'étais épouvanté, il m'a fallu plusieurs semaines Once pour m'en remettre. Lorsque je m'en suis remis, me, une question grave s'est posée à moi, contrairement à ce que j'avais un jour is pensé, est-il possible que c'était bel et bien les Khmer Rouges qui, sans avoir their own évalué leurs propres capacités, ont décidé de s'embarquer dans une politique d'hostilité contre le Vietnam, qui était so much more powerful, pourtant tellement plus puissant. I want to turn now to documents relating to uh, the first Vietnamese invasion in Je late 1977 uh, that followed uh, these incursions and atrocities. Incursions et ces atrocities. Uh, in Stephen Morris's book, Why Vietnam Invaded Dans Cambodia, E3, 7338, and as your honors English only cites pages du livre. Vietnam's direct efforts at subversion appear to have been abandoned after 1975. In fact, until early 1978, it appears that the Vietnamese leaders were responding to Cambodian attacks defensively and with some sense of political and military proportionality. During the years 1975-77, Vietnamese responses to Khmer Rouge provocations were extremely measured, even restrained. And then, continuing a few pages more, uh, at English 01001768, page 101 of Morris's book, quote, 
du livre de Stephen Morris. In, in December 1977, en décembre 1977, the border fighting between Vietnam et 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 et
We would like to receive Repousser some additional suggestions to this situation. We are looking forward to implementing them. Confirmation, the enemy's attack has become rather severe. End of quote. Assez grave. And the next document, Your Honors, uh, document is E3897, E3 897, uh, which is a uh, telegram the next day, 7 December 1977, also from uh, Sao Pim to Office 870, uh, distributed to au bureau 870, Uncle il a été distribué à Paul Pot, Uncle Nun, Brother Ban, Frère Ban, Sri, Van Vett, and Brother Q, et Frère uh, Son Sen. And Son Sen. this uh, internal contemporaneous document, Ce document report, qui est un document interne et un document um, d'époque, clearly records um, that at the time uh, this Vietnamese incursion began, um, DK forces were still occupying parts of Vietnam territory uh, as of early December 1977. And if we can show this on the screen, if we have it, E3897, section one, Vous verrez à la section 1 report du rapport on the enemy de situation in region 23 de la states as follows au sujet quote, de la situation des ennemis à 23 qu'il a dit la chose suivante the attacks are of a fairly large scale of destructive character les attaques sont First, des attaques de nature destructrice with an attempt to make us withdraw our forces from their territories. Second, their intrusion is not so deep. While they destroy our rice and evacuate people into their territories, as mentioned above, it is requested that Ankar take measures and add more defense forces to secure a period from now till hust and unhust, unhust rice can be collected. Pour nous protéger dès à présent later. et jusqu'à ce que the le riz décortiqué et non décortiqué puisse être récolté un peu J'ai les instructions suivantes retirer une partie de nos forces de leur territoire pour storm. les attaquer par derrière, tandis que les forces des bases locales devront lancer une offensive. And as the month of December proceeds, the et telegrams reports reflect a deteriorating situation uh, for the DK forces. La situation évolue. Uh, document les télégrammes font état d'une détérioration de la situation. E3872 is a 22 December 77 Je souhaite que ce document soit projeté à l'écran. E3872. Sao Pim reports, quote, the enemy situation along highways 22-7. The enemy has hit and broken through our combat-ready lines in many places. Continuing below. Regarding the enemy situation on 22 December 77, beginning at 5 in the morning until the present time, the situation is that every spearhead has been hit and broken by the enemy. Our situation is that we and the battlefield command committee were totally surrounded by the enemy, but have now broken out and are carrying out preparations to counterattack the enemy à nous extraire et sommes en train à présent de préparer days later, la contre-attaque contre l'ennemi. Deux jours plus, toi, plus tard, document E3-908, E3 24 décembre 1977, un rapport adressé au bureau 870 qui émane d'un membre du comité de zone Poon, qui est le chairman de la zone Poon, et le président de la zone Poon. La plantation des VA. It de reports. La zone. Uh, quote, the Yun control 
Highway 7, les Yun ont occupé village, la route nationale 7 à partir market. du village de Stung jusqu'au marché de Memo. They have reached the entirety of the rubber plantation, ils ont have atteint l'intégralité de la plantation des and have taken et much ils ont brûlé les latex et ils ont pris beaucoup de riz et de sel. On this 24th of December, we le 24 décembre, nous n'avions toujours pas retrouvé notre autonomie. And cannot les soldats se sont dispersés, se dispersés sans enemy. moyen de communication. Much of the ammunition Impossible taken in the past to prepare for border combat has now been taken by the enemy. In this situation, we are personally proposing that Ankar closely assist and intervene. End of quote. Uh, Your Honors, I, I started this presentation by reading from the statements that were issued on the 31 December 1977 uh, as the situation became dire for DK forces. Um, and let me also just note um, uh, that on that same day, the 31st of December 1977, a statement was also issued by the DK, DK Minister of Foreign Affairs. Le ministre des and that is document E3, 1265, uh, stating, quote, e the government of Democratic Kampuchea has decided provisionally to break off diplomatic relations with the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, in effect, from 31 Vietnam, December 1977, until the withdrawal of the army, aggression, army of Aggression of the SRV. Paragraph 2, all diplomats and staff of the embassy of the SRV to Democratic Kampuchea must leave on 7 January 1978 Tous les diplomates et le personnel de l'ambassade auprès de la République socialiste du Vietnam, ou plutôt du... Tout le personnel et les diplomates de l'ambassade de la République socialiste du Vietnam au Kampuchea démocratique doivent quitter le territoire le 7 janvier 1978. À présent, ce qui concerne ce qui s'est passé le 6 janvier 1978, au moment où les troupes vietnamiennes se sont volontairement retirées du pays, Ben Kiernan, E3-1593, Khmer 00637926 through 27, English 0115-0194, and French 00639155. Kiernan écrit, on 6 January, le 6 janvier, the invading troops les troupes d'invasion regagnèrent le territoire vietnamien. Over 100, Plus de 100 000 Khmer, Khmer de tous les the border, secteurs took the opportunity en profitèrent to pour s'enfuir dans leur sillage. And footnote eight, Note de bas de page, uh, numéro 8, according to Kiernan's sources, um, includes the following quote sources, from Kiernan's 19 80 interview of a district cadre. On trouve l'entretien de Kiernan avec un cadre de district des années 80. Quand les Vietnamiens se sont retirés de leur propre chef, notre, nous, de notre côté, nous n'étions pas au courant. Chanda, Et Nayan Chanda, à propos enemy, du E3, même événement, dans Frères Ennemis, document E3-2376, Khmer 00191547, 5, French en français, 00, 00 English, en anglais, 00 1998 page 212 à 213 du livre de Chanda en anglais. In early January 1978, Début janvier 1978, tandis que la guerre des ondes, que Phnom Penh et Hanoï avaient rejoint la guerre des ondes joyeusement, des éléments des trois divisions centrales sous le commandement des trois divisions centrales sous le commandement de Tamak, 
began to move toward the eastern zone. But before the divisions could confront Hanoi's troops, they turned back and headed home. To hide its initial defeat, the Khmer Rouge began an intense propaganda campaign to present the voluntary Vietnamese withdrawal as a great historic victory. And you'll see an example of what Chanda is writing about, Your Honors, in the pour, September 1978 Revolutionary Flag. Uh, this is E3, 215, E3-215, Khmer 00064595, French 00524073, English 00488622. This is a, a Pol Pot speech given on the 18th anniversary of the party. Quote, In late 1977, they began to strike our Kampuchea in very large scale. They assembled 14 military divisions, among them four frontline forces divisions to strike. However, we struck them and defeated them on 6 January 1978. The 6 January 1978 defeat was the great strategic defeat of the UN and Soviet strategy of strike quickly, win quickly. I'll now turn to events in 1978, turning, starting with some evidence that uh, despite this, what we would call in English, uh, shot across the bow by the Vietnamese in late 1977, um, the attacks by the DK forces uh, continued. Uh, and there were no negotiations between these two countries. And uh, there is a 19 January 1978 telegram uh, from Sao Pim, um, using again the alias Chan to Brother Paul, copies being Chea, being Sri, and the gang. E3243, E3-243. If we can show this on the screen. Um, paragraph one of Sao Pim's report on the situation in Sector 24 of the East Zone includes the following. Please, Yes, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I note that since this morning, in this document presentation, reference is made to a certain number of telegrams that were signed by Chon, and the co-prosecutor just as yesterday with Victor Coppe told us that Chon it was Sao Pim's revolutionary alias. So would it be possible maybe to give us a base pour, uh, de, de that would allow us to check this and to verify that that is indeed the case. Thank you, Judge Lever, and I was going to do exactly Merci, that Monsieur uh, after reading this telegram, because this telegram contains telegram, something that helps us there, and I also want to make a couple of additional comments in response to your question. Let me first read this uh, report that Chon has signed on September 1978. Situation in Sector 24. Quote, on the 16th, we continued mobilizing forces to infiltrate their territory. Our force smashed 15 UN enemy and destroyed five UN enemy boats. We launched guerrilla attacks in their territory, two kilometers from our border. Result, we smashed 30 houses and burned down several civilian houses. We smashed two enemy motorboats, 
Their people and the motorboats were all destroyed. In total, we smashed 30 enemies on 18 January. Also on 18 January, at 3 a.m., we continued firing Rocket 107 into Hockney Market. We could not grasp the result. However, we saw it was on fire. Now, uh, Judge Laverne, uh, this, this was uh, not the telegram I had in mind. This is a telegram that's clearly recording that uh, attacks came to Vietnam confirmed. Let me, uh, let me just skip ahead <laughs> and find the telegram that, that I was going to use to address uh, the very point that you've raised. Uh, if I can find it quickly, uh, I, will, I will respond to your question right now. Et je vais le trouver rapidement pour répondre. Voilà, je viens de le um, trouver. Uh, the that helps with the question L'un des telegrams qui telegram permet de répondre à votre question, c'est celui envoyé le 18 janvier 1978, 15 janvier 1978, de Chun au frère Paul, le 3 bar 920. Uh, it reads, quote, on 8 January 1978, Unit 170 raided le in Camp on Rokar. We launched B-40 and M-79 into their base. La nuit, nous avons lancé des B-40 et des M-79 sur then leur continuing base. on, um, on poursuit. In the morning of the 14 January 1978, gunfire was heard at the above location. Uh, he hears the key part. After leaving you, Après vous avoir the next quitté, morning, we held a meeting with the battlefield commanding committee to instruct them to push forward in the direction we had discussed. Nous les avons conseillé de suivre les directives. This is a telegram that's addressed to Brother Paul. After leaving you, the next morning we held a meeting at which he conveyed the instructions. Now, why why that is significant is if you in Ben Kiernan's book. Ce qui est important dans le um, livre de Ben there is discussion of Pol Pot coming uh, to a meeting in the East Zone uh, shortly after uh, 6 January 1978, Vietnamese withdrawal uh, for a meeting with Sao Pim. Et les Vietnamiens se sont retirés um, so we have from Kiernan avec Sao Pim. that there was this trip by Pol Pot uh, to meet with Sao Pim Pol Pot uh, in the East Zone, and then est. we have this telegram. Um, um, just for the references for Kiernan, uh, just for your record, Kiernan, are from Pol Pot Verbal, Regime E3-1593, Khmer 00637-940 through 941, French 00639167, English 0115-0200, where Kiernan writes, Quote, just after the Vietnamese pullback of 6 January 1978, Pol Pot arrived in the east, eastern zone. He called a public meeting at Wat Tong beside a rubber plantation in Sung District. Also presiding were Son Sen, Sao Pim, and Kai Pok. Son Sen, Sao Pim, and Kai Pok presided also. This is just one example, Judge Laverne, and, and, I, and I'm happy to give you others. There are other telegrams uh, in which there are some personal references that tell us this. Most importantly, though, I would say the conclusion is that um, these are not isolated telegrams. If, uh, if you look at our Annex 4 that contains the, chronologically the telegrams, um, all the reports, or virtually all reports from the East Zone from 1976 up until mid-78, uh, including the general reports on everything, military production, are signed by Chon. Um, so it's a combination of all this um, that the only person who could be reporting these matters on this regular basis had to be the leader of the East Zone, uh, plus some, some specific hints like from the document that I just read. Qui montre que la seule personne qui pouvait rendre compte de ces éléments était l'un des dirigeants de la zone est. Et ceci vient renforcer ce qui est mentionné dans les documents que je vous ai lus précédemment.
so I was presenting on the issue of um, uh, events in 1978 and specifically uh, some documents related to the continued uh, DK incursions and attacks into Vietnam in that year. Um, there is an 8 April 1978 telegram, telegram number 18 from Son Sen, um, using the alias 47, uh, and uh, anticipating your, you may have a question of how do we know that 47 was Son Sen, uh, and I have this quote uh, somewhere in my outline, but um, uh, one of the telegram operators who received the telegrams in Phnom Penh has identified 47 as the code number that was used by Son Sen um, when he sent telegrams when he was in the East Zone. Uh, I'll give you that reference uh, later, since it's not in the, uh, my notes right here. Um, in this 8 April 1978 telegram, E3-1076, E3-1076, um, <coughs> excuse me, if we can show this on the screen, if we have it. Paragraph 1 reports, Le paragraph one, we attacked and entered Nous the Dong Tap Population Center and the market south of Trapping Prim and Pan Chao. We Trapien killed Tam. and wounded many hundreds Tam of them and burned hundreds of houses. We continue to fire 107s and DK-75 into Pan Chao. Pan Chao uh, is a district uh, in Vietnam, uh, on the west side of Mekong, where it crosses into Vietnam. Uh, Dong Tap is the, the province uh, on the east side of Mekong in the same area. Um, there is a... Um, There is also a reference um, in a VNA Vietnamese news agency report uh, on third, the 3rd of March 1978. Um, this is a report that was broadcast to the Vietnamese news agency called Statements by Cambodian Prisoners and Refugees, uh, document E3-1269, E3-1269. Uh, only available in English, English S, 00009871 through 72, uh, which reported, quote, Campuchian troops were ordered to kill all, burn all, destroy all in their attacks on Vietnamese territory. Five captured Campuchian soldiers told French reporters in Vietnam's Thai Ninh province last month. The five prisoners spoke for more than one hour with correspondents of uh, AFP, the Agence France, Press, and also Luminati, who reported that they were among 4,000 Campuchian soldiers captured in Thai Ninh since October last year. I want to turn now to uh, some documents um, uh, that show the conflict in uh, the 1977-78 period in various border regions. Uh, let me just I'll give you a few examples in the time I have left. Uh, I've exemples. tried to find some telegrams and reports from partie, each region. But I wanted to start with a rather important document uh, that important. gives an overview. Uh, it's a, a party circular dated the 13th of July, 1978, titled Views on the Current Situation of the Revolution of Kampuchea. Uh, document E3-791. Excuse me, E3 slash 791. And at the start of this, uh, there is an overview uh, of the uh, situations in the battlefields in various regions. You'll find that 
Uh, if you look at uh, Khmer 00079296, English 00721427, French 00747882383. Uh, this party circular states, I quote, current situations in the battlefields are as follows. Ratnakiri, two Yun regiments attacked us on road 19 in early 1978. It was their sectoral forces. They advanced by 10 kilometers. Nowadays, enemies are stationed approximately three kilometers from the border. Uh, the east, de their one division forces in Mamat are fighting fiercely and spiring. Their, one, uh, their over one division forces in the area of Prasat are fighting fiercely. Yun maintains only three divisions as of July. And on the same page and continuing on to the next page, uh, there is a particularly important quote that states the following, this circular, party circular, quote, we must also enter their territory. Since January 1978, we have stationed east of the red line of the Dragon Tail, five kilometers from the border, and conducted regular militia activities. Such activities have also reached the southwest. We target Loch Nin and identify some specific locations uh, on the other side of the Mekong Basic Rivers. We have controlled areas from Tang Chao to Chao Dok and advanced our fight near Kramun Sa. We have controlled a large area and continuing uh, on the next page. The direction for developments is to transform the entire east into the same battlefields as in the southwest. If we apply the line properly, we will be able to attack and enter enemy's territory. We must make our bases clean and our soldiers cleaner. And then continuing two pages later, uh, this is Khmer 00079. 299, French 747885, English 721430. Quote, Yun experienced a significant defeat. Their invasion ambition was paralyzed. Many of their forces were attacked and smashed by us. We advanced onto their territory and gained more control. Under the party's leadership, the Khmer Kampuchea Crown Movement launches organized attacks against Vietnam. Now, let me uh, take just a few examples of some uh, documents from different regions. Um, there are many, many reports, of course, and we will, uh, those will obviously be summarized uh, in, in, in a brief. Uh, um, we've had a lot of evidence from uh, the combat in the Parrot's Beak, Sphi Ring area. This is the Highway 1 front, uh, sectors 23 and 24 of the East Zone. Um, I want to read just uh, uh, one telegram on, on this. Uh, it's actually from 29 October 1977. Another telegram from Chan, I believe Sao Pim, to Office 870, E3892. E3892. We would like to know what Office 870 is going to do with Vietnamese caught at villagers' houses in Tadev village. If Office 870 wants these Vietnamese, we will send them. Now they are kept being interrogated 
nous les gardons pour interrogatoire. Et nous, nous aimerions faire rapport uniquement à ce moment-là. Are referenced Les uh, in a prior, uh, the uh, telegram from a par the prior day, 28 October 1977. I won't read from it, but it describes how uh, three Vietnamese soldiers were captured in this village. Uh, I will uh, have a few references to. Uh, documents confirming captures of Vietnamese, as that is also an issue that's, that's arisen uh, in the proceedings. Um, another key front um, was on Highway 7. Un autre front principal, c'est sur la route nationale 7. Um, honors, um, this is, uh, this was in sectors 20, primarily sector 21 uh, of the east zone de la part of Capitan province. Um, when you see references to the towns of Crec and Mamot, um, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that town correctly, uh, this was the, the Highway 7 front. And uh, let me read to you Je vais vous donner lecture. Um, well, uh, this was the telegram uh, I've actually already read. Um, that was a report um, from uh, Sao Pim uh, discussing his meeting Pim with, with Pol Pot, so I will skip that one. Uh, uh, je vais let me just uh, note for your honors that um, there, there are a number of documents uh, from this region that are fairly significant um, because this was region. the front that Kai Pak was in charge of commanding. And, uh, let me just uh, identify for the record um, the series of reports that come from Kai Pak in 1978 uh, uh, describing the conflict and fighting there. There is a 12 April 1978 telegram to Kai Pak addressed to Committee 870, E3932. 3, An 18 April 78 telegram, telegram du 18 avril number 1978, 05 from Kai Pak, also to Committee 870, E3 slash 1009, 1009, A 29 April 78 Un telegram, E3 slash 245, uh, A 4 May 1978 Et telegram, A from Kai Pak E3, Telegram 10, 516, de Kepok, au 870. and then um, a telegram sent on 6 May Telegram 11, Kai Pak, which is number E3 slash 250. And just to read a few excerpts from this last telegram, E3 250, quote, on the Highway 7 battlefield, both west and east, and on Khatoum and Mamat battlefield, we have attacked the enemy and liberated all our territory. A large number of the enemy were killed and wounded, and a tank was hit by fire and burned. For us, I have prepared the East Zone Unit Division 4 and Sector 41 units to cooperate to attack the enemy at Barracks 733. And I have decided to withdraw the unit of Comrade Vin to have them attack the enemy along Highway 28. And you will see similar detailed reports of combat in Kai Pak's other uh, reports. Um, Mondal Kiri, Ratnakiri, uh, the Northeast Zone region, uh, is an area that we've uh, discussed uh, in court. Um, uh, so uh, let me just uh, present to you one uh, report or telegram that we did not have a chance to use um, uh, in the witnesses who testified. This is document E3 slash 1030, E3 1030. And this is 
uh, if we're able to show it on screen. This is a 20 June 1977 telegram, uh, and it comes from uh, a person we've heard about in the court, Sector 105 Military Chief Tasopia. Uh, a telegram he sends to Sector Secretary Lang, uh, who used the alias Chan. And in paragraph one of um, Sector 105 Military Chief Sopia's report, de ce um, rapport. at Oplay, they intruded 20 meters Oplay. into our land and cut bamboo. We attacked dans notre and killed and wounded a number of them on 17 June 1977. Dans la journée du 17 juin 1977, en paragraphe 2 du télégramme, le groupe des sept qui nous a attaqués a Pu Chas village and Ton village and D.A. Day village. There were 30 of them. We are now organizing forces to monitor them further. I present this one because this is also a cadre whose name came up for the testimony in court. Sector 505. This is Krechi province, which was another area in which there was a battlefront. Uh, and your honors bataille. will be able to refer to a number of telegrams that came from uh, the secretary de of Krechi sector, a sector 505, du sector de and uh, sector let me just list uh, those telegrams for the record. Um, uh, 5 November 1977, um, de Saint is a, actually a telegram uh, from uh, to Comrade Yi through Office 870, it's document E3978. Uh, and in this uh, telegram, uh, telegram, it is reported um, that um, Vietnamese troops that had crossed the border had fell into our spike traps and a request uh, to be able to make mines and hand grenades. Uh, and then there are a series of reports uh, from Comp from Comrade Yi, the Secretary Secretary, uh, E3986, as a 16 December 1977 telegram, uh, uh, 22 December 1977 telegram, E3871, 21 March 1978, E3 slash 1012. Document Telegram du 21 mars 78. Telegram du 21 avril 1978. 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 Telegram du there are a few reports. Dans la zone sud um, il y a quelques rapports. Uh, only a few reports and evidence for the zone. But again, uh, uh, let me refer you Versé to E3853, which is a June 1977 report on the first paragraph reports on fighting at the border, uh, the camp at the Vietnamese border. Um, you'll also find a report from Tamak, uh, 8 April 1978, uh, a telegram from Tamak to Brother Paul, E3-1062. Uh, and um, there are also reports of the fighting that went on uh, at sea um, that came from Division 164. Uh, document E3-997 uh, is a 20 March 1978 record of a report from Division 164 Secretary Mut uh, talking about sinking a ship, Mout, a Vietnamese ship, or boat, um, near Kep. Uh, and E3-928, E3-928, uh, is a mm -hmm. April 78 report uh, from Division 164 Secretary Mutt that states, uh, I read, 
quote. In sum, the number of Yun who have been captured and shot to death from 27 March 1978 through 30 March 1978 is 120 heads. End of quote. Um, Mr. President, I have about five, maybe five Monsieur or ten minutes more, if you'd like me to finish, if, if, if I may. Conclue, si je le puis. Uh, thank you. Um, a couple of documents related to the Vietnamese the POWs who were captured by uh, DK forces and sent to S-21. Um, a 14 uh, February 1978 telegram from Son Sen uh, using the code number 47 um, distributed to Pol Pot and Nguyen Chea's document E3-181. E3-181. Document E3-181. Um, if we have that on the screen, again. Um, and in paragraph 5 of uh, Son Sen's uh, report, uh, paragraph 5 states, quote, Comrade Tal captured two Yuan heads, ages 17 and 27. They were sent to S21, end of quote. And I bring this up because uh, in the OCIJ S21 list, um, on the following day, uh, the day after this report, records that uh, two uh, Vietnamese entered S21. En disant que deux um, sont arrivés à S21. A 17-year-old Li Vang Kung Li Vang, described as a Vietnamese spy. He's number 8227 Vietnamien, on the OCIJ list. De, de sur la uh, liste and a 27-year-old Trung Yang Nim described as a Vietnamese farmer sent from Spy Ring, OCIJ number 14893. So these two Vietnamese entered uh, S21 the day after this telegram from Son Sen, um, and the ages match uh, what is reported in Son Sen's telegram. Um, you'll also find a reference, another telegram from Son Sen, uh, reporting on combat and the capture of a Vietnamese who he refers to being sent to S21 this evening, and that is a 20 March 1978 telegram, E3-8-6-7, E3-8-6-7. Let me finish, Your Honors, just by reading um, from uh, a quote or two en lisant, uh, relating to the end of this fighting, um, une citation the final qui parle uh, Vietnamese large-scale offensive that began on the 25th of December 1978. And uh, I'd like to read first uh, Nayan Chanda, et je vais commencer par a brother lire enemy, Nayan E3 Chanda, 2376, et le livre, frère ennemi. E3 2376, Khmer 00191986855, English 00192527, and French 00237172. Uh, this is his description of the final uh, push by Vietnamese forces in late 78. Quote, for nearly a week before beginning the tank-led push, the Vietnamese Air Force mounted an intense bombing attack on Khmer Rouge positions. By concentrating some 30,000 men, half of the Khmer Rouge regular force, in an arc along the Parrot's Beak and Fishhook areas near the Vietnamese border, Pol Pot made their destruction easier. These troops were decimated by a combination of artillery fire and aerial bombing after being picked up by spotter aircraft. There was surprisingly little resistance from Pol Pot's peasant army, which knew how to kill with machetes, but had not had time to learn to fly fighter planes or man anti-aircraft guns. End of quote. And in Ben Kiernan, 
the Pol Pot regime, et dans Ben Kirnan, le régime de Pol Pot, uh, E3 1593, Khmer 0063803323, 033, English 01150232, uh, French 0039239. Um, the following uh, account of the final offensive by Vietnam, quote, on 21 December 1978, Vietnam's defense minister, Vo Nguyen Jip, called for an overpowering force to wipe out the enemy. Four days later, Hanoi launched a massive invasion of Cambodia from the east. Its Bloomberg Lotus strategy, devised by Vietnam's Lotus chief of fleur, staff, General Van Tien Dung, involved Dung, unexpectedly striking at the center, wiping out the enemy centre, command there, and then fanning out to destroy perimeter outposts. 150,000 Vietnamese troops and 15,000 Cambodian insurgents stormed across the border with the devastating air support of 40 to 50 daily sorties in the area of Krechi alone. On 30 December, they seized Krechi town, threatening to cut Cambodia in half. And of course, it continues on to describe the progress over the next week until Phnom Penh is captured. Well, thank you for the de additional time, and, and that ends our, our document presentation. Thank you, ladies. Now, convenient for our lunch break, the chairman will take a break now and resume the lunch at the afternoon. And security personnel, you are certain to take your son home to the waiting room downstairs and bas, have him return to attend the proceedings this afternoon before 1.30, the court stands in recess.